Hello YouTube, this is Ryan Howard and I'm <coughs> excuse me. I'm going through a, a, a few different types of videos to see which ones you like most and whichever ones you like most I shall do a series on. The fir my first video is on how to <coughs> excuse me. To, to improve your computer's performance. This one is going to be a walkthrough of um, at Pokemon White. <coughs> this is, I believe this is the fifth or sixth gen of Pokemon. So um, I've not, I've only played this game through once, so this is quite new. I don't, I'm also using an R4, not like the actual game. So let's get started. <coughs> okay, this is Professor Juniper, or Juniper, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Um, she's literally, literally the equivalent of like Professor Elm, Professor Oak, um, Professor Rowan. I'm not, I'm not sure what the um, Sapphire Professor is. This is just the, uh, the basic stuff through the middle. If you're new to Pokemon, I recommend you play one of the earlier editions. I sh should ask you if you're a boy or a girl. Obviously, I'm a boy. Know your name. This is on the lower screen, so I'll do this. Oh, my camera doesn't like that. Yes, my name is Ryan. You notice in this game the text moves a lot faster than in the older versions. Okay, these are literally the equivalent of Dawn and your rival in the previous generation. Let's tell you the random stuff. Just go into the old journey. The, other, the graphics in this game are quite a bit better than uh, than the previous generations. I especially love the 3D view of this. It's just incredible. I think Sapphire and Ruby came out ten years ago. Can't believe it. Is this Sharon? Ooh, I get a what's in the box? I'm guessing it's Pokemon. Not that I know or anything. Today's the day we get the Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So just wondering where the Pokemon are, and obviously they are in the little box. So, I get to pick first. Okay, this is kind of a crucial part in the game. Okay, this says, I've brought three Pokemon, one for you, and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely, enjoy your Pokemon. Professor Juniper. This is quite an important choice. So you have three Pokemon. You have the Grass type, Snivy, the Fire type, Tepig, and the Water type, Oshawott. Okay, the, if this, I will go through uh, this. The Snivy, once it's in its final evolution, is more about speed and special attack. Tepig is more about special attack and um, normal attack. Oshawott's more about s special attack and special defense. Snivy so lacks in physical defense and attack, but is more there in HP. Tepig lacks in defenses and speed. Oshawott lacks in speed, but not as much as Tepig, and um, attack and um, defense. Though I've done this in every single game, I shall go for the water type, because I, I do this in every game. I choose this one. I chose Oshawa. I'm not sure which one picks which one. I sh um, Sharon gets Snivy, and... Um, so Sharon will always get the one that is strong against yours, and um, Bianca always gets one which yours is good against. 
And now they want to have a battle indoors. Oh, that's very smart. Just in your room, how ignorant. Okay then, so your first battle with your Pokemon. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Bianca. She sent that Tepig. It's, it's relatively easy to win this fight. But if you can't win this fight, then there's seriously something wrong with you. So, um, I'm not. Okay, the bottom screen. It can. It looks like that. So go on. Fight. The, that one is for Tepig. It's tackle and tail whip. Let's get that back. Go for tackle. Oh, that didn't do too much. You can keep press A at some points to make it like the animations and everything speed up. Although you can just go on options and then just change the text speed to fast. So ooh, we're using the same tactic as me, are we? Because once the tail whip's done, lowers the defense, and so this thing will die in the thing. One more hit, maybe two, I'm not too sure. Oh, bugger. Oh, I did not expect that, a critical hit. Oh, that's, that's, that's just unfortunate. And they bugger up your room. Oh, they've fucked up everything. Your TV, your bed, everything. And everyone's just blaming, blaming, blaming it on Bianca. Yes, everyone do that. Oh, and Sharon now heals my fainted Oshawott. And he says she wants to battle with Sharon. But she's not going to do it in my room. Oh. Oh, oh you have a first battle against Sharon. Although I've played Pokemon for so many years, I sometimes can just make stupid mistakes. So against Pokemon trainer Sharon, it's, it's Snivy. So Snivy, if you just keep on just right out attacking, you should defeat because it doesn't have too much defense. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so if it's just a stalemate of tackles, then. Oshawott should win. This is where you need to spam tackle. Once they use tail whip, you need to win quick. Well, Leah in Snivy's case, you need to win quickly. If you have Tepig, then you'll use be able to counter that by using Growl. At least I think it has Growl, and I think I'm about to die now. Wow, that just shows how weak Snivy's defense, how weak Snivy's attack is. <coughs> and Snivy has fainted. We get a nice chunk of XP, and the battle has ended. If you're wondering what the green light is, that is the green light from my webcam. Yes, apologise to my mother for my room, little buggers. And. Because the video is getting quite long now, I believe that, is, that we should end on that. If you like this video, or this style of video, <coughs> please comment, rate, subscribe, because if you like this, I shall carry on my this series and do an entire walkthrough of it. So, um, that's enough for this time. Bye, guys.